Hi there, this is Stephanie and this is part three of the evaluation series. This one deals with the fill in the blank or uh, what the quiz maker refers to as an essay type question. The question is asking the user what they feel will be most useful back at the office from what they learned in the e-learning course. And the question is a thought provoking question so I've set it up so that it simulates them being back at the office, a couple cue cards for effect, and then they're actually typing in their response also on a cue card, although a blank one. I've add, added also some animation effects. This question's already been pre-built in QuizMaker, and I've already played it once, so I'm just going to click replay so that you can see how the animation appears. There you are, the question's in, the user clicks on the cue card, and they just start typing their comments and then they click Submit and continue on. So let's close Preview and see how this was assembled. Back over in QuizMaker, the first thing I did was I worked with the background. I brought that office image in, so I just right-clicked anywhere on the background of the slide, chose Format Background, Fill of Picture or text, Texture Fill, and then I just clicked the File button and grabbed the office scene. This office scene is a free uh, clip art from eLearning Art brought that in, click close, and then I started to work with the text. So the the question text was already on the screen, it just didn't look that good, so I changed its fill, I changed the font and the font color, and then I added this text box over here. I just simply went up to the insert menu, I chose text box, I typed in my text, I formatted it, I also added a gradient fill to that text box. I used the insert picture option to insert this piece of clip art, and then I also inserted two cue cards. The cue cards actually came in straight when I inserted them, so I just clicked the green rotate button and I rotated them slightly. So one is actually going to be coming in from the right, and the other cue card, the one behind, is actually coming in from the left. And there's a fairly dramatic animation effect on this, a spin effect, as you saw in the preview. So that spin effect is just on the animations man menu, you choose spin, medium, and it's coming in from the right. The other one is an, a, the exact same animation effect, but it's coming in from the left. And then the text box where the essay question is typed in is sitting on the top of all those objects, except that one object here, this arrow, because I want the arrow to be actually on top of, slightly on top of that uh, text box. So let's take a look at the timeline so you can see how this was assembled in terms of the order of the objects. So I've just dragged this bar up so we can see all of the timeline. The rectangle at the bottom is the, the, the actual question that's being asked, and you can see by its position that it's coming in after both of the cue cards have come in. Now I can click and drag to the right or left and control the timing of ex the exact timing of when that element comes in. So the cue card that's on the right comes in first, the cue card on the left then comes in just a little bit later, then the essay question is, comes in, and the jot your thoughts and this information comes in thereafter. So like everything else you can just drag right and left and also be careful about the layering. So if the essay question isn't visible it could be because it's sitting down below. So it could be below the cue cards. If that's the case then you just click it and bring it, drag it upward until you can see it visibly on the surface. And then you click preview and you can see the final result one more time very quickly. So easily creating a nice graphical feel to an evaluation question and a very simple animation technique to add a little pizzazz. So here's the result.